Hello, Jesse Good here, and today I'm reviewing the LEGO Disney Frozen Anna's Snow Adventure, which has 153 pieces, one mini doll, and retails for $20 in the United States. Now let's take a look at that mini doll. Here is Anna, the only figure of the set, and that dress is actually exclusive to this set, despite looking a lot like the one included in the Arendelle Coronation, I think it was called, or something like that, from earlier in 2016. This cape right here also attaches at the neck, and her hair piece is the same one as that Arendelle Coronation and the new Frozen Elsa's Palace. So I do like that because this is currently the cheapest way to get it. And it goes without saying, all mini doll hair can be used on regular minifigures. So for example, here is the 2014 Batgirl with that nice hair piece from Anna. So the horse is like an unnamed horse, but it probably has a name in some uh, Frozen product. Actually uses the same mold as Maximus from that Tangled Summer 2016 set, which is a pretty good mold. It, it fits that Disney style. Now this part that kind of covers up this middle section is a little bit of a cushion. There's currently no piece or anything in this set to make Anna ride it, which is a little bit weird. Uh, but, you know, she does have the dress piece, so she wouldn't even fit inside there. But that is it for the horse, and now let's go on to the set itself. So here are the builds of the set. So the build for the horse is just a little drinking station, which you can see has a few studs in there to represent water, so you can just kind of make him drink from there. And there is a nice printed 1x6 tile, which also appears in another part of the set, which is from the Arendelle Castle Celebration set. So I do like how they included that. Also, you got some hay and a little bit of a resting area for... Anna, which you could just kind of stick her right there. She has a cup. And then there are some nice kind of light azure pieces for the roof parts, which is another nice inclusion for this set because I always like light azure, as I call it, the mint toothpaste color. And you also got some kind of icicle rods, which are represented with some lightsaber blades. So that's kind of funny right there. And that's just to add some detail. So that is it for this build. So here is Anna's area of rest. Lots of nice kind of uh, branch pieces in white, as well as a bigger version of white on the back. It's great to get in a cheaper set, as well as two by three tiles in white, another great new piece. And inside, uh, there's actually a little bit of a resting area, which you could just kind of move the roof up because it is on these little hinges. And you can see how Anna rests inside there. There's also the map from Indiana Jones 2008 sets, which I haven't seen for a while, so that's nice to get again, as well as that nice kind of printed 1x6 tile that I was talking about. That's the other instance in the set. So that is it for this build, and there's one last little build that I actually quite like. And the last build is just a little kind of a bonfire to melt the chocolate, and the chocolate is a nice 1x2 printed tiles from the Elf line. I really like getting that. And so that's adorable, and now let's get on to the box and the final verdict. So here's the box, you've got that $20 box size. I still love how this is under the new Disney line with the Aqua. It looks so much better and I think it'll attract different audiences. The instruction booklet is quite thick, even though it's only like 150 pieces. And you actually got some uh, little advertisements on the end, including that one that has some DC and Disney stuff on one page. That's kind of crazy to me. So overall, Anna's Snow Adventure is literally the Frozen version of Moana's Island Adventure. I mean, they're so similar. They knew what they were doing. Moana's Island Adventure, if you don't know, was that Moana set that was around $25 I reviewed last month. Both are very forgettable, but very serviceable at what they do. I mean, heck, they have pretty decent builds. Not even decent builds. They're good builds. They're just nothing that will really stand out like a year down the line. And they'll probably refresh with another similar type build. Both have very good pieces. I mean, the 1x6 prints here are awesome. The light aqua pieces are great to get. Um, a lot of nice snow pieces, like the branches and those 2x3 white tiles. And we got an exclusive version of the minifigure with a nice new outfit. Um, and it's a cheaper way to get a harder to find minifigure. All that, yada yada. Where this one's better than that one is that I think the price is better. It's because it's $5 less. And it feels like you get the same amount as that set. But where this one's worse is I think the build is just a little bit, I guess, worse than the other build. Because while that one had an island setting, this one has the kind of ice setting that a lot of the other Frozen sets have. So it feels a little bit less unique. But both are basically on par. So I would rate this set a B. And that's really it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys later.